That vegan teacher's daughter has gone completely off the rails. Not only did she invade several small businesses holding an animal carcass, but she also has an OnlyFans where she's allegedly scamming people. The question is, ladies and gentlemen, is she using the vegan agenda to promote her OnlyFans? Find out in today's video. Guys, welcome back to the Jerry and Curtis show. You're looking at a newly improved man right now because somebody has hit 100k. It's me. I did it. I'll talk about it more at the end, but for now, let's talk about that vegan teacher's daughter. Now, if you haven't seen my last video, not to worry, Tash Peterson, known as the Vegan Booty, is an animal rights activist and also promotes veganism. She's done some weird things, ladies and gentlemen, like roaming through coals holding a decapitated pig's head. She also offered herself up to the public as a human cow, where she stood there in front of an art gallery, getting her, her breasts pumped. <laughs> <laughs> Our milk comes from women who are bred into existence for the sole purpose of milk production. I mean, getting milked in public. <laughs> yes, please. Oh, can I join? I really want to be milked by some pretty ladies. <laughs> oh, it's terrible, isn't it? Andra Kayan. This is what we gotta come up with. But you gotta ask yourself at some point, what good is it, you know, attaching some plastic silicone cups to your breasts and getting milked in front of everybody? How is that helping your conversation exactly? I mean, yeah, you could argue it gets good media coverage, but let's say an article posts these pictures online. I mean, it just gives me a little taste of insanity. And hopefully a little bit of booby milk. But let's not forget, ladies and gentlemen, that the chaos this woman is causing by pushing her agenda on people's lives. I mean, she's banned from every pub in her state. That says enough, doesn't it? She's going around fast food restaurants and supermarkets, blasting dying animal noises from a Bluetooth speaker, and holding a 62-inch television with animals being abused on it. And her goal is to, you know, push the agenda on people of becoming vegan. I watched that video while eating a juicy ass steak, and I gotta say, that's the best goddamn steak I've ever had in my life. I mean, she accuses people of animal cruelty for buying a pack of sausages in a supermarket, but somehow it's okay for her to ride a skateboard and make her dog pull her. Help me! Ooh. <laughs> but that's all right, though, isn't it? Having a living sentient being with four legs pull you while you're on a skateboard? That's all right, but if you know if you buy a chicken from a supermarket, you're a f***ing coward. Buying packet of chicken from a supermarket is animal cruelty. But my dog is my own personal chauffeur. <laughs> but how far will this vegan activist go? I mean, we know that she's walked around a supermarket holding a pig's head, and we know that she walked around holding a dead lamb, which, you know, we could probably eat now since it's already dead. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, where do we draw the line? Is it perhaps her harassing a family-run business and causing a chaotic scene? Do we draw it with her throwing red dye everywhere in KFC? Or do we draw it, perhaps, when she crashes a children's birthday party to promote her agenda. Vegans ruin children's party. I mean, with a title like that, she almost seems proud of herself. What a marvelous job you've done there. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a blatant act of animal abuse and animal cruelty. Yeah. 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 Subjected to slavery. So you're telling me she raided a kid's birthday party, which consisted of them petting ponies and the ponies enjoying it? Ooh, you got him, Tess! You got him good! Ooh, you got him! Oh, if you ask me, ladies and gentlemen, that's one distressed pony right there. He's practically shivering with anxiety. Those horrible children are slowly caressing it and giving it love. How cruel! We can enjoy animals in their natural environment without objectifying and exploiting and using them as slaves. Animals are Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but did Tash Peterson just say that they're using the ponies as slaves? Well, that's ironic, isn't it? Well, didn't you, uh, you know, use your dog as a, you know, a pull along? <laughs> well, yeah, just ignore that, though, won't we, you know? Forget about it. That's nowhere near as cruel as what these children are doing to these ponies. I mean, that pony's life is practically hanging by a thread. I mean, there's just so much danger and chaos happening in this one scene. I mean, look at the way the kid touched it. <laughs> I'm gonna move on from this in a second, but I do just want to say quickly, ladies and gentlemen, jokes aside, that Tash Peterson is probably causing more stress to the ponies. Like, they're having a wonderful, peaceful day, but the ponies seem to be enjoying it, and then some woman randomly comes along and starts screaming. I think if I were an animal, I'd be pretty stressed out. So I think it's safe to say, ladies and gentlemen, that in this situation, Tash Peterson caused more harm than good. Ooh, you bloody coward! <laughs> 
But don't worry, Tash, I'm still grateful for you. I mean, you saved several ponies' lives from these feral monsters. Now, as I mentioned, obviously, she does have an OnlyFans, and, you know, we are going to conspiracize. Is that a word? We're going to theorize whether or not she's using her vegan platform just to promote her OnlyFans, because she has gone out in public one too many dressed in lingerie. You know, people see that, and they're like, damn, son. You check out, uh, she's got any links in her, in her bio. Oh, she... <laughs> Only fans. Let me subscribe to that because I saw her booty in the lingerie video. You know, the one where she was promoting veganism, but I don't care about that. I just want to see that. I want to see that ass. I mean, there must be a hidden agenda there without directly stating it. That's pretty cowardly behavior. But funny enough, ladies and gentlemen, there's a little bit of hypocrisy involved as well. Don't worry, all will be revealed. Firstly, let's take a look at where she started to slowly promote her body in these vegan videos. I mean, one of the great examples is Naked Vegan Storm's clothing store with dead goose. Oh, brilliant, walking around with a dead carcass. Yeah, because I'm sure as a vegan, that's, that's what you'd love to do, right? I mean, every vegan's dream is to hold a dead animal. To be turned into clothing and fashion items. Ducks and geese were tortured, abused and murdered for your down jacket. And you pay for this murder and abuse if you're not vegan. Oh, is that how it is, is it? So if we're buying clothes, we are practically killing the animal ourselves. Well, I can't say I've ever killed an animal, but judging by that logic, I've probably killed hundreds of thousands of animals. But Tash Peterson, ladies and gentlemen, is innocent. She buys only vegan clothing. Vegan clothing, that's... Probably made from cheap child labour. <laughs> but it's okay, Tash, if you're buying vegan clothing, there is a small chance that you're paying for child labour. But that's okay, isn't it? But anyway, regardless, I do find it a bit strange that you're a vegan. And all the vegans that I've ever met would never voluntarily stand there covered in animal's blood, duck feathers, while holding a dead goose. I mean, surely as a vegan, that's, that's your worst nightmare. But this isn't the first time she's covered herself in stuff. No, she wore a pig's head and also dropped animal guts over her head. You wouldn't think she's vegan, would you? But before we take a look at that bit, I do want to jump back to this child labour thing real quick because we did discuss this in the last video, but for those who didn't see my last video, take a look at what she said in this interview real quick. Got my vegan Nikes on right now. They look like real animal skin, but they're made out of vegan alternatives and we don't you're need to be... confident they weren't made with very cheap child labour? Well, they do claim that they're sustainable and ethical, so I try to live my life as ethically as possible. Unfortunately, it's impossible to be 100% cruelty-free in this very violent and non-vegan world. It's impossible to be 100% cruelty-free! <laughs> so what you're saying is, is you'd rather couple of child labors make your trainers as long as you can save some animals. <laughs> I mean, surely that just proves what an absolute terrible person she is. I mean, she's literally saying that she'd rather choose an animal's life over a child's life. I'm sure she hates children, you know, judging by her crash on that pony party earlier. But she says it with so much authority as well, ladies and gentlemen, as if she's, like, better than the rest of us. How oh, yes. Well, I do clothe myself in vegan attire, which is produced by cheap child labour, I managed to save a few animals in the process, which renders me as the morally superior being. Nah. You've embarrassed yourself, love. Nothing to be proud about. But as I mentioned earlier, she does do weird things to try and promote veganism, like, you know, dumping guts on herself. <laughs> It's like some sort of weird kink or what? And at one point, she actually wore the pig's head as a mask. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that is total insanity. Serial killer vibes, yeah? I wouldn't be surprised if she walked around with that mask on killing people. <laughs> Why did I kill them? All meat eaters must die. It's quite simple. It's like, here she is, look, dumping guts on herself. As a vegan, you would absolutely hate that. Vegans literally, like, feel sick and start crying at the sight of a dead animal. And use this woman literally dumping a bucket of sheep guts on her head. I mean, it just doesn't seem right to me, ladies and gentlemen. I can't put two and two together, you know? Surely a vegan would absolutely despise that. Now, in a minute, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to dive into our OnlyFans. But I firstly want to ask you all to subscribe to the channel. We've hit 100k now. But guess what, guys? We've hit a new goal. 150k by the end of September. We have to go up 25k subs for the next two months to reach that goal. But you know what? I think we can do it. So thank you to all those who subscribe. Let's get involved. So yes, her OnlyFans. Some people theorize that this woman uses her vegan platform to actually promote her OnlyFans. And the reason people think that is because sometimes when she's using her vegan platform to talk about veganism in public, she can sometimes be seen wearing, uh, you know, uh, sexual explicit lingerie, I guess would be the word for it. For example, vegan strip off in protest at Stefania Ferrario. Oh, I recognize that name. Was that also the person you collabed with on OnlyFans, where you made sexual content together, perhaps? So already, this video purely looks like it's just used to promote their OnlyFans. So far. 
Let's take a look at what actually happens in this video. Oh, okay. Interesting way to uh, start off a vegan video. Multiple clips of all of you dressed in lingerie in your front living room. It's not the kind of vegan content I'm used to. Ladies and gentlemen, it is strange to have intro the video that way, considering also that the person tagged in this video also does OnlyFans. There is only one way to love animals. Go vegan. We only f vegans. Sorry, is that you making a statement about yourself? Claiming that you only f vegans. Well, you think a bloke's gonna look at you and go, Oh, I really wanna bang those women. But I can't because I'm not vegan. Oh, I guess I better stop eating meat now. You look absolutely insane. Walking around public in your lingerie. Your children about. Put some clothes on. <laughs> Sorry, what's that? Animals are not food, clothing, entertainment, or vehicles. Oh, well, that's very interesting that you say that because... Hang on a second, is that... Is that Ugg boots you're wearing? <laughs> is that Ugg boots? It cannot be. So I find this uh, very interesting, ladies and gentlemen, because all I did was screenshot her Ugg boots and put it into Google reverse image search, and I managed to find the Ugg boots she is wearing. And uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the materials is as follows. Twin face sheepskin and suede, pre-treated to repel moisture, sheepskin insole, nylon binding, an eight inch shaft height. This product contains real fur from sheep or lamb. Fur may be sourced from Australia. Oh my God, she's an animal abuser. Animal abuser. Animals feel pain. Just like us! <laughs> Have some of that, you coward! Their bodies, not ours! Well, enough said there, I think, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty embarrassing. So much for your animals are not clothing sign. A lot of good that's done now, isn't it? <laughs> and yeah, they just walk through the town dressed in belts and straps. <laughs> Pretty much, that's, that's all there is to it. And there's another one, vegans in underwear disrupt Gucci. Oh, and again, vegans protest in lingerie. Oh, look at that, at Stefania Ferrario again. Hmm, very interesting indeed. Vegan storm Louis Vuitton in lingerie. Religious woman shames vegan in lingerie. Animals feel pain, just like us. <laughs> I think we can agree that this lingerie scheme that she's got going on, does seem almost like she's trying to promote something else. Something a little bit saucier, a little bit more spicy, perhaps. OnlyFans. <laughs> now, she does have an OnlyFans where she posts pictures of her wearing the same lingerie that she wore in the vegan videos. And some of the pictures that she posts are pretty much nude. Now, she's got one free OnlyFans and one paid OnlyFans. I guess the, uh, the, the free version is just a little bit of a taster of what you're in for. And uh, so far, there's pretty much nothing there. She's fully clothed. My vegan milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Uh, no. No, no, no it doesn't. It, it, <laughs> no. But, you know, the, the free OnlyFans, ah, it's a little bit boring. The mo more the drama is on her paid OnlyFans. Uh, got a couple of people saying some stuff on there. Saying that they should have had their money back for something. Reimbursed, as they said. So I think we'll just jump on that, and I guess I'm gonna have to buy it. £3.75 for 31 days, and then $15 a month after. Definitely gonna be unsubscribing when this video's finished, then. Oh, and there's the three girls that was in that vegan video intro. Yeah, it's pretty much exactly the same clip. Hi, I'm Tash, vegan and animal rights activist. Pig emoji. Here to make the world a better place. Not only mine, but also yours. Yeah, if that were true, you'd be more wary about what kind of vegan attire you're buying, you know? It being made by cheap child labour and all. So that's a lie. You're not here to make the world a better place, really, are you? If you were wondering what my intimate and private life looks like, you're in the right place here. On this site, I want to grant certain people a look behind the curtains. Be warned, though. Once you enter, you might fall in love. I consider myself an extremely caring and cute person, as long as you are nice to me. I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, yeah, she's right, you know, the, the likelihood of me falling in love with an image through the pixels on my screen, that's pretty high chances, Alex. I'm definitely gonna fall in love. But despite her sexually explicit OnlyFans, ladies and gentlemen, there is a bit more to it. So let me break it down for you, right? She gets people to sign up to her OnlyFans, they pay for it, and then she disappears off the platform. Comes back a couple of weeks later apologizing, and then does it again, and then apologizes again, and then does it again. <laughs> she's, she's not active on this account, she's just constantly inconsistent. So people are just losing money. They're signed up to something that sometimes on the off chance, might not even be active. I mean, just between these two posts alone, there was a 14 day gap. Yesterday's last mental preparation to be back being active on here later on today. Sorry for my unresponsiveness those last weeks. I decided I wanted to tackle the whole OF thing again and get more active again. Looking forward to see your messages. That's just definitely not her writing that, is it? Unless she's dyslexic, which of course, nothing wrong with that, but 
you know, I just don't believe it is her. Oh, here's one sexy post. I'll whip you. Anything you say would totally submit to such a beautiful woman. Oh, please whip me. I submit. I'm so weak. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you guys are into, whatever floats your boat. Here's the best bit, ladies and gentlemen. From what I can see what's going on is that people are paying for things privately in messages. Because you can do this thing on OnlyFans where you basically send somebody like a video but they have to pay to unlock it. And judging by the comments I've seen on some of her posts, I'm guessing people bought the locked content in their private messages and then it just disappears after they bought it. They never received it. You know, it could be considered scamming in one's eyes. I told you that it was a DM locked video that I unlocked and I was supposed to be on my collection video page, but it disappeared. It doesn't matter if I'm subscribed or not. Hey, just send a DM on my other account. You should still be able to view them in the paid content section. You can only access those videos in the paid account, so I'm not sure what you expect. You can't obtain or use the videos outside of my paid account. I already paid to talk to you and nothing happened. <laughs> I'm not going to do it again. I will send you now, again, an email to continue the process. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see the email. Send another DM over there and I can send them straight away. I already did, months ago. You sent me your email. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, what a great service she's got going on over there. I mean, it's just it's just fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> so someone bought a video from you and they didn't receive it. So they sent a DM to your other account. They responded, giving them your email. Then said person emailed you. You didn't respond. He came to the OnlyFans comment section to ask you for help. And you told him to DM the other account again. And then told him to email you again. So I'm sorry, there seems to be some sort of a miscommunication here. Yeah? between you and the bloke that you hire to message people on your account. I mean, to be honest, i just call it a day I would. I wouldn't go running after all these emails and everything. I'd just be like, oh, I bought something, I didn't receive it. I guess I'm just a horny loser now. But this isn't the only person, ladies and gentlemen. No, no, no. There's been several other messages just like this on her account. Someone said, yeah, I get that, but thought we'd be reimbursed with a video sent another way. Yeah, she doesn't care and won't send them again. Stop sending her money. Will it also get deleted after I pay for it? The videos we purchased had gone from the pay-per-view menu as well, so I'm guessing you deleted them. What's the story with refunds? No response. You still haven't sent that BJ vid. So it seems like, ladies and gentlemen, that she's neglecting her customers on OnlyFans and literally scamming them for money. I mean, in my opinion, that's what it seems like. Here's a good analogy for you. If I bought this Coca-Cola can right here for a dollar and I add it and I was like, okay, this is the locked content on her OnlyFans. I can't wait to open it up. I open it up. <laughs> That was the noise of the, yeah. And oh, let me can't wait to drink it. Oh, oh, there's nothing in there. Oh, it's empty. I've just been scammed. Seems like you either gave them the goods and then deleted it, or just never gave them the goods in the first place. Made a small welcome bundle for you that contains a few sexy nudes. In case that's why you are here. Text me anytime. I'm just a human. Oh, she's human. This whole time I thought she was a sea creature. But I do want to say uh, thank you all for getting us, you know, to 100k. All of you that did subscribe in that moment to help us get to that milestone. Our family has grown so much. And to be honest with you, hitting 100k, I've been telling my grandmother that since I was a little, little, little baby boy. When I was eight years old, I said to my nan, one day, nan, I'm going to hit 100k on YouTube and then I'm going to hit a million. And, you know, well, we, we're doing it. We're on our way. And I want to thank all of you who subscribed. I couldn't have done it without you. And, of course, I want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as well. Christ is King. Glory to God. Couldn't have done it without him either. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, check out my other videos if you enjoyed this one. You're probably going to enjoy these ones as well. I mean, you know, they're pretty chaotic, as per usual.